good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name's Graham Evans. Uh, I'm the Executive Chief Digital Information Officer for NHS North East North Cumbria Integrated Care Board, and it's uh, an absolute pleasure to be here this afternoon. Now, interestingly, we had a two-day event last week uh, in Gateshead uh, to describe some of our digital opportunities. Uh, it was a really well uh, attended event, uh, and this event seems to be equally well attended. So um, I'm going to start today by first of all just giving a little bit of a personal story of why um, digital and the Great North Care Record is so important to the system and the people that we serve. And then I'm going to talk more broadly about uh, the opportunity of digital data and technology, uh, the emerging strategy that we uh, did a soft launch with last week and ultimately where that might take us. So I'm going to go back to 2017. Um, and as a male of a particular age, I was having some, some health challenges, shall we say. Uh, now, interestingly, like many males, you know, were a bit, uh, you know, I'm okay, and there's nothing wrong with me. Uh, but having a wife um, that I spoke to, who was a nurse by background, said, what you're telling me sounds to me as if you've got an underlying health condition, so you really need to go along and speak to your GP, which I did. So my GP, uh, carried out a number of tests, and I'll be careful how I say this, but um, I realised that digital doesn't mean the same <laughs> uh, in, all, in all walks of life. So I had a, a, a couple of interesting tests, one of which was a blood test, uh, and I'll say no more than that. <laughs> but I was then referred on a two-week rule to um, a local trust, who once again carried out a series of interesting tests. Um, some a bit more interesting than others, but as a consequence of that, there was delays between the various stages of the test, which didn't help my anxiety levels, and you know, being the sort of person I am, you do a little bit of research on, on Dr. Google, uh, and it puts the fear of God into you, but nonetheless, um, there was a process that I needed to go through. I was then referred for some specialist intervention to another trust in the region and again they carried out some further tests, uh, a little bit more invasive in this case, but the interesting feature was they then wanted me to repeat an MRI scan. Now MRI scans are expensive, they're scarce because of the nature of the work that they undertake and I didn't particularly want to take up a resource that other people could have had the benefit of. So, having worked in the system, I suggested that you might just need to check with my other trust to make sure that the results that they had about two weeks ago are, no longer, are still relevant to your intervention. And sure enough, a quick conversation revealed that actually we can now see your scan. Um, we don't need to do any further tests. But the bad news is you've got prostate cancer, which is quite an interesting discussion, um, particularly when the consultant brings in a Macmillan nurse into the consulting room. So I was a little bit concerned at that stage, but the words of wisdom were, if you're going to get prostate cancer, catch it early, and then we can treat it. So I'm now on a pathway um, that, you know, I'm one of many millions of men on this particular pathway, and I'm on what's called active surveillance. The even better news is now that through, you know, my regular tests, you know, I'm, I'm checking, I'm getting checked for any changes in my underlying condition. I can order medications through the NHS app. Very soon I'll be able to see my results and have my correspondence shared electronically. I can order my medication and have it delivered uh, to the door if necessary, uh, or, or go and pick it up from my local uh, pharmacy. Had the Great North Care Record been available at that time, some of that process might have been a bit slicker. It might have reduced some of the time and some of the anxiety, but, but really, I'm in a good place. Um, like many people who are on this particular path where the system is really working and it's working well, but it'll work even better when the Great North Care Record is deployed throughout the region and then potentially, as we heard earlier, connecting to other similar systems across the country. So really, we've, we've come a long way as a health and care system, but we've still got quite a way to go. And I just want to reflect on a journey that we've been in or on um, over recent years within the, the, the North East and North Cumbria. So we were one of the first integrated care systems to publish a digital strategy as far back into 2019. 
We did it at a time when we didn't really have an integrated care board, but we had an integrated care system that was emerging. Shortly after we published the strategy, we recognised that it wasn't uh, a document that the lay people in our region could understand. Um, it, it didn't have the components that were um, published shortly after our release on the NHS uh, plan, so we needed to, to perhaps build some of that in. And, and more recently, with the publication of the Better Health and Wellbeing for All strategy, which just came out in December last year, we now have what we're calling the True North, something that we can truly enable in terms of our digital data and technology agenda. And as I say, we did a soft launch of the strategy last week. Uh, we have to go through a little bit more due diligence and governance just to get the branding and the messaging right, but to all intents and purposes, the content of the document will remain largely unchanged. But interestingly, we need to make sure that the systems that we build um, enable integration and interoperability between all parts of our health and care system. Really good integrated care systems internationally have those basic building blocks. And um, as an organisation, we uh, had a, what we called a masterclass from Professor Mark Britnell, who was the health chair of KPMG about, about a year ago. And Mark talked about his international research uh, of, of high-performing integrated care systems. And there were a number of components within uh, those building blocks that we felt as a system we had or we were working towards one of which is clearly uh, good di digital data uh, foundations that can allow and enable pathway-based healthcare in as near real time as possible to really help the people and population that those integrated care systems serve. So in terms of the development of our strategy, what we've done is to look at those international uh, barometers of success, build in some of the factors around our um, <coughs> policy drivers, be it the NHS plan, NHS people plan, soon to be published NHS digital workforce plan, and then build that alongside the better health and well-being for all strategy, as I said, that was published uh, at the beginning of, of this year. When we look at the key components of better health and well-being for all, the four goals that, that are within that, within those goals are the series of portfolios and then programmes and projects, Without exception, digital data and technology touches each and every programme of work, which really demonstrates the importance, strategic importance of the work that we do as a system, and ultimately the, the importance of programmes such as the Great North Care Record, which is really transforming how we are able to manage and treat people across our, our system. The strategic themes that we uh, came up with as far back as 2019 still remain largely unchanged. Fundamentally, it's about getting the basics right. If we're going to apply bright, shiny technology, we need the essential infrastructure in place. That's the networks, the Wi-Fi, uh, warranted technologies that are not 10 years out of date and are no longer fit for purpose making sure that we can connect across our health and care system. And that links very much to the levelling up agenda. We've heard already what you know, levelling up means many things to many people, but in essence, we all need to have a minimum viable level of digital capability within our organisations, but also within our people. We need to make sure that every member of our staff has a minimum understanding of digital and data to allow them to do their jobs in a more efficient and effective manner. We want to learn from, from our experiences. Let's not reinvent the wheel, but use good as well as bad experiences to shape the future. We also want to use data and insight to derive action. If we just you know, keep asking for more data, but we don't do anything with it, then we're failing the people that we serve. Fundamentally, how we connect across our health and care system is the real uh, important goal that we all need to aim for, and that's very much where the Great North Care Record and other associated programmes such as our diagnostic services will really drive truly transformational change in the region. All of those programmes that we have um, link to a whole range of priorities across our system. For example, how we um, recover from the, the recent pandemic, and we're still very much in a pandemic, within a primary care context, 
our secondary care systems recovering from the elective challenges that they face, colleagues in um, social care, how we can help to transform their services with digital and data capability, making sure that where we can drive truly patient-centered care through those programs, but we can only improve if we measure the progress and as part of our joint forward plan the annual iterations of our plan our five-year strategy will deliver you know year-on-year -year developments and benefits that we can track and measure and then continually improve against fundamental to that is the work that's underpinned by the great north care record you know and the and the associated programs of work such as the maternity elements how we can interconnect uh, to provide citizens and patients with access to their own health and care through the NHS app, the Wayfinder programme and so on. So again, absolutely fundamental to the future. This is a very, very busy slide, but it tries to incorporate our strategy on a page, starting from the drivers, our vision, and the vision that, that you'll see there that you won't be able to read has not changed since 2019. It's still very much meaningful today as it was almost four years ago. Great North Care Record takes centre stage. It's a really important programme of work and we need to make sure that we've got the resources and capabilities to really drive and sweat those assets and get the real benefits uh, for the systems that we, that we work within. But we've also got to be cognizant of the fact that not everybody can, will or wants to interact <coughs> digitally. So within our strategy we put a big focus on digital inclusion to make sure that where we can, we bring people along, uh, and where we can't bring those people along, we offer alternative access and channels of communication to make sure that we don't leave anybody behind. <clears throat> so the Great North Care Record is absolutely fundamental to the future of our region. This is an extract of the roadmap that we have within, within the uh, emerging strategy. And hopefully it aligns to the GNCR roadmap that Jill and colleagues were sharing earlier today. But what it demonstrates is that we are on a journey together. And if we can make this work, we will be the envy of the country, if not the world, because we are truly working together as a system. Um, this is really just an extract from, um, a, a, I think it was a reference from NHS England, which talks about within our organisations using electronic patient records really joins those organisations together to give a contemporaneous record within a system, within an organisation, sorry, but across a system where we can connect those organisations together, that's where we really hit the sweet spot, that's where we make the, the big transformational change that we're all working so hard to deliver. So fundamentally, the Great North Care Record will act as the digital glue that binds our region in the way that other regions can only look, look upon us as, with envy. That's all I wanted to say, colleagues. Hopefully that makes some sense. Can I thank you very much indeed for your time.